Hi, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and today we're going to be talking about raising chickens, butchering chickens, and I thought it'd be fun to do a Q&A today. Uh, I'm going to answer some questions that, more of the common questions that we get uh, butchering chicken, mainly butchering chickens. And today we're also going to be weighing our Freedom Rangers. We're going to share with you uh, our average weight that our Freedom Rangers got compared to our Cornish Crosses. While we're weighing them out, uh, we're going to be answering questions at the same time. All right, these are our chicken tractors, our two chicken tractors, and, and that one, that's a coop we don't even use. All right, question one. What do you do with the innards? Uh, the things that we keep when we butcher chickens is feet, livers, hearts, necks, and the gizzards. We don't keep the gizzards, but we usually give them to a friend. <laughs> so everything else, uh, the stuff that we don't use, we just throw them away. Now, if we had pigs, we'd probably give them to our pigs and so rather I'd rather not deal with the innards at all so I just pretty much just bag them up and throw them away. All right we have 33 chickens here well three of them are Cornish crosses the rest are Freedom Rangers and we just butchered these yesterday and now we lay them on the table we're giving them a quick dry and we're gonna weigh them out and see what the average weight is on these Freedom Rangers. Uh, with the Cornish crosses, the average weight that we had, and we butchered those four weeks ago, was three pounds. Okay, let's see. Four pounds, 10 ounces. Four that, pounds. I think that's our biggest Cornish cross bird. Well, we haven't weighed the other two yet. No, I mean, since last time, I don't think we got. Right, I don't think we got yeah. over four. Yeah. We didn't get over four. Question number two. What do you do with the blood? So after we put the chickens in the killing cone, the blood drains into a bucket. And what we do is I dilute it with water. I fill up the bucket pretty much to its full uh, with water. And then I give it a good stir. And then we put it in our garden. I try to be careful not to put it like on any kind of food. Uh, mainly, I, I just try to put it in the soil uh, don't put it on leaves, don't let it splash on leaves, only because I think it might burn the leaves. Um, another thing that we have done was just put it directly in our compost. Or you can give it to your chickens and they can kind of just pick through it. And I feel like it's, it's really important to use the entire chicken uh, as much as possible, you know, for your garden, uh, growing food, or for your health. We put a couple stickers on the corners cross so we could, uh, differentiate uh, from the Freedom Rangers. This is a beautiful bird. Let's check this other one. Whoa, this is bigger. What? Four pounds, 12 ounces. Three pounds. Whoa. The biggest one? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Question number three, what do you do with all the feathers? We use feather plucker, which is amazing. <laughs> when we use a plucker, they kind of just make a pile of feathers for you, of wet feathers. Uh, and what we do is we just throw them away. Now, you can put it in your compost or maybe even use it as like a mulch and put it in your garden. But I feel like being that we're kind of in a closed, uh, we don't have a spread out area, um, I don't really want feathers everywhere. I feel like feathers would be blowing everywhere or, or getting on our boots and we tracked it in the house and I just don't want to deal with it. <laughs> so we just throw the feathers away. That's a big guy. That's like our, was this our biggest bird we've ever done? I mean, I don't remember. That's a turkey, Penelope. <laughs> That's a five pound Freedom Ranger. That might have been our biggest Freedom Ranger ever. <laughs> four, three. Four pounds. So far, we're getting four pounders. Four and five pounders. Yeah. It's borderline five, because look at that. Like, you put one more ounce on there. <laughs> five point eight. <laughs> four ten. Okay, put yours on, Penelope. That's a big beast. Five point one. All right, we're running out of freezer space. <laughs> this is full. Our other freezer's full. Freezer full. 
What are we going to do? <laughs> All right, question number four. Does it smell? When you butcher chickens, does it does it smell? Is there like a, a butchery meat smell, I guess? I don't think that's what I'm smelling. I think what I'm smelling is that, because we use vinegar and we use some dish soap. So I think the combination of them two uh, is what we're smelling as we're butchering the chickens uh, because you know everything's sanitary you know we need to wipe off the tables it's more of a like I'm washing dishes kind of smell <laughs> well, we're just like five birds shy of fitting them into our freezers I'm gonna cook up and shred two of the chicken so we'll have shredded chicken in our fridge and then the rest of these I'm gonna cut them up if you haven't seen my video on how to cut up a whole chicken we'll leave it linked below and we'll cut those up and then put them in food saver bags and then they'll fit a little bit better into the freezer. Question number five. What do you do with the feet? So I mentioned before we save the feet. Uh, now the feet uh, we use mainly for bone broth, right? We'll just sit broth all day. Uh, we use it for cooking. And so one of the things that we put in this broth while it's cooking is the feet. I know there's other ways that you can eat feet, uh, but that is the only thing that we do with the feet, is put them in our broth. All right, we have our calculations here. So our Cornish crosses, we actually butchered 25 Cornish crosses last time, and these guys were at eight weeks. And our Freedom Rangers, I thought it was 30, but it really was, I think we did 27, we gave a few away, so what we have here, in our freezer, we have 25 Freedom Rangers. So the average Cornish crosses that we have, uh, we had uh, butchered them at eight weeks. Their average weight was three pounds. Our Freedom Rangers, we did them at 12 weeks. Their average weight was over four pounds, which is 4.28 pounds. And we got the Freedom Rangers, man, like pretty much all of them are about four pounds. Uh, we had a, a few five pounders in there and I think that's where we wanna be. Question number six, do you guys do workshops? No, we have not done any workshops. Um, although, you know, altogether really, I think we've taught in the last three years, 10 families on how to raise chickens on pasture and how to butcher their own chickens. But we do plan on in the future actually doing workshops. And when we start doing workshops, I will be posting a video on it, letting you know, hey, we're doing workshops. <laughs> For our family, uh, we're a family of three. A three pound bird will feed us for two meals. A four pound bird, over four pounds, uh, will feed us for three meals. Either way, we're pretty happy with this outcome. Uh, I'm happy with a three pound bird. I'm happy with a four pound bird. I'm happy with a five pound bird. <laughs> I know what you're asking, but what do they taste like, right? <laughs> what does a Cornish cross taste like versus a Freedom Ranger? I don't know, but we will be doing video on that, so stay tuned for that video. We will be doing a taste test. But I will leave a playlist down in the show notes of how we are raising these chickens. We've done numerous videos on this, and I will leave a playlist so you can check all those videos out. Question number seven. How long do you keep the chickens in ice after you butcher them? Do you put them in the freezer right away? Or do you put it, leave them in ice for how long? Now, some people say it's best to leave them in ice for, I've heard from four hours to 12 hours, I've heard up to a week. Uh, we've done both. I have not noticed any difference. In my opinion, I don't think it really matters. It's very inconvenient to have the chicken on ice for even for a full day after you butcher them because then you have to buy more ice, uh, leave them in the coolers, uh, and for us, they would be outside, and it's just not very convenient to, for us to do that, even if we wanted to. So we just put them pretty much directly in our freezer, or if we have some ice already in there, we might leave them in there uh, till the next morning, only because we're just so tired after a butcher day you know we just don't want to deal with it uh, right then and there uh, so we might leave them in the cooler uh, till the next morning but for the most part we put it directly in our freezer uh, 
I don't notice any difference of quality of meat or anything like that. Um, I really think it's just kind of all preference. All right, <laughs> we have just a freezer full of chicken in here. Lorraine cut up all this chicken. We have whole chickens, everything's weighed, everything's portioned. Usually this time of year, we're packed uh, with freezer space. It's hard not to uh, have our entire house full of freezers. <laughs> but it is nice having all this chicken. You know, it's a lot of hard work, but when you see that, it makes it all worth it. All right, final question, question number eight. How can you kill a chicken? Don't you feel bad? Yes, I do feel bad. Uh, I feel like if I'm gonna be raising chicken, uh, I want to, know, want to know how it was raised, what the chicken ate, and how it was butchered. I do know, because I'm the one who did all of it. And that's why we're here. That's why we're homesteading, is because we wanted to be more connected to our food. We wanted to know where all this food comes from, and we wanted to be close to it. And if I can't, you know, we're not raising beef. We do eat beef, you know. I do know the people that we are getting beef from or pork from, we do know them. We've been to their farm. And if I didn't raise them, I at least know the person who did raise them. So I think when we're sad and we're feeling bad that I'm butchering these chickens, I mean, I think that's a good, healthy way of thinking. Like, I think it, you should feel bad. You should feel sad. You're also providing good, healthy food for your family. And in my opinion, the best food imaginable that we can possibly ever buy. But these are some of the more popular questions that we get about butchering chickens. And uh, hopefully that's answered some of the questions that you guys had. But if there's any other questions maybe that I missed here, maybe we'll do another Q&A like this. Um, leave them down in the comments. But now the real question, what everybody knows, which chickens are we going to raise from now on? <laughs> I am not going to raise both breeds. And I kind of like the Freedom Rangers, you know? Like, I really like how their mannerisms are. I'm, I'm, I think I'm leaning towards them. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll come up with a conclusion soon. But I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you like it and share it with your friends. Uh, my name is Jason from Sow the Land, and we'll see you guys next time.